All right, so in this class, I'm going to show you how to create your home page, how to add images on the home page, and also how to create an about me or a start here page with some text and images. So, so we are on the theme now and we have logo and background. We're going to upload some images here. So I'm going to go to site logo. So the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into my finder and I've got a site logo here which looks like this. So you have to basically have a certain dimensions. Mine is 500 by 111. If I click on upload image and I go to my computer and I upload mine by dragging and dropping in, go to upload and there we go. Now it's here. Now if I want to see what I've done, I just press save and I'm going to go into preview on top right hand corner and it's going to open a new tab. So this is my logo over here. So you have to basically have that sort of size, uh, 400 by 100, but you find all the guidelines here in Teachable. For the Favicon, which is essentially this little icon that you see on top, this little T icon is the Favicon. So you can have your own one as well. So if you go upload image, I'm going to go into my computer and <clears throat> I'm going to go to my computer and then I'm going to upload mine. This is mine is 800 by 770. Um, it's quite big if I go and, and preview it, but uh, you can have a just, just a small one. This is 290 uh, kilobytes, I believe. And then you drag that in. And you just press upload. Make sure your images are not too big. Trying to uh, reduce them down to uh, less than a megabyte if you can. This is the way I've done it so far. Just click on save. I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to refresh. And my favicon is already up there. So it's been... It was very quick actually. Okay, so let's go back here and let's add our image. So I'm going to upload an image. Uh, I happen to have this nice computer here, so I'm going to go and add that. And by the way, when you go to a custom source here, you find also a lot of nice images that you can use as well. I use mine for my Meijin Academy school, so if I I'll show you how it looks, it looks like this. So basically I've done my logo, I've, I use that image and I've got this nice background and I've got all my courses here. And I've got my menu on top. Uh, so let's go back to our upload and press upload. Now the image is there. Press save. I'm going to go back into my original here page. I'm going to refresh. It's good to have a reference so you know what, what you're doing. Okay, probably this is the home page background. Dark overlay is at, is at 1. I'm going to just put it at 0. That one is the transparency. And I'm going to go see how it looks now. There we go. Now it's transparent completely. So it's very hard to see my menu on top and the, the, the actual text here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to make that slightly darker. I would probably say around 0 0.5. Uh, but you need to play around and see what works for your image. Let's see how it looks now. It's going to be slightly darker. Oh, much better. And then we're going to go back here. Now, the second option we have on top, uh, down below is Font Family. So I'm going to choose any of these. Choose the one you like. Uh, I'm going to go to Railway and press Save. And then the colors, you have to choose what colors would you like to have for your website. Here you've got some preset palettes on top. So you can just choose any of these and see how it looks. Let's say I click on that one, press Save. I'm going to go into here and see how it look with that uh, with those colors now my background uh, my my logo is has that color over there, that green color so i wouldn't choose probably these colors for this website even though it looks uh, it looks okay uh, but in this case here i'll probably stick with what i've got here press save so you find you will find your colors anyway i'm going to show you a way to choose your your favorite colors and create some sort of a match
between them. Uh, I'm going to link a couple of websites below this lesson and you can go and choose whatever color you like. I will also record a video about how to choose the colors for your website. Okay, once you rest save, we're going to go on top here and we're done. So for this page here, as you can see, I like Teachable because it gives you this menu on top and it kind of guides you through the different things, the different phases that you have to go to finish a page. So we've done our homepage. Now we're going to go into domain. We haven't really confirmed our domain yet. So in this case here, I call this domain Online Business Bootcamp. And I'm going to remove that one at the end. Uh, online Business Bootcamp. And I'm going to then choose Confirm Domain. And perfect. Now it's been now accepted. And now my page is, is ready. So I'm going to go back into my backhand. Let me go back here. And I'm going to go to admin. And then I'm going to go back into my site. Domain. My domain now has been accepted. And then I'm going to go into navigation. I'm going to keep navigation as it is. I'm happy with this my course, all courses, login and sign up. That's fine. Then I'm going to go into authors and I'm going to leave my authors as it is. I'm going to go to pages and I've got home page, which is the one that we saw before, which is this. Very nice. Uh, then I've got my privacy policy and terms of use. But I'm going to add another page. I'm just going to call it start year page so click on the top right and then we're gonna add start here uh, the URL is gonna be start dash here and then you're gonna put uh, your text here so I'm, I'm just gonna copy and paste some text that I grabbed from my website and this is my bio text so I can just do copy that and paste it in now, if you want to see how it looks on your website, all you need to do is simply go create page. And then we're going to go into preview. And then the page is going to look like this. So it automatically laid your text this way in the center. So let's go back here and let's, uh, for instance, add some text in the middle here. Let's have a look. I want to have some images that say after this text, I'm going to Press return there and I'm going to go on top here. Now the, now the beauty of Teachable is that you can customize your text as much as you want here. So you've got all these options on top. I'm going to go to add image. And I'm going to go back to my media browser here. And I'm going to add another image. Let's see where the other image is. Okay, let's say I'm going to choose that one. Okay, I found my images. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to drag it in. And here I've got the option to crop it. So I'm going to crop the image. I'm going to make sure it is cropped right up here. Click on save. It's now going to, it's going to upload the image. Okay, the image is in. Now we're going to click on save. And we're going to go back to our start here page and refresh. And now our image has been added to our text. Now, if I want to have it down below there, I can go and delete this image. And let's say I want to have it there. I'm going to go into my browser and drag the image there again. And just minimize that makes it smaller. Click on save. And now the image has been saved. Press save to go back, refresh. So I can create a page like this in a matter of seconds. So you just need to make sure you have your text done. Uh, if you want to customize your text, you can do that uh, simply by going here. If you scroll down, you also have settings. How do you want to name the page? Uh, if you want to have that show in navigation bar. Uh, if you want to have a colored navigation bar, what that means is if you're going to have that little that bar on top, which is colored. Or if you want to have a translucent, let's say you want to have that translucent and just untick that box, click on save. And now if I go back here and press 
refresh is gonna be now transparent of course I'm not gonna see anything because all my text is white so I can go back there and press save to go back here and refresh and then bam you have all of your pages there this is done we're gonna save that and then we created our page so we're gonna go back into page to refresh and now a start here page now it's here if I click on publish now the page has been published so now I can go to navigation and I need to make sure that start here page appears in my navigation bar so I have to go and add a link so the navigation bar will be that and the text would be start here page and then we're gonna add that URL which is this one I'm gonna basically copy that URL on top copy and paste it here and I'm gonna say it's gonna be visible to all yeah definitely and press add link and now my start here page is, is gonna be here uh, and I can move it as a first thing in the menu and then I'm gonna go into my page here I'm gonna refresh and now my start here page will appear on top so when I go to my courses I don't have any courses yet but when I go to start here I'm gonna be able to see this it's like an introduction to your website and people can see what you're doing or who you are and what the company is all about all right I'll see you in the next video when we're gonna create our course